everybody, it's your boy Kryptonian Saiyan here bringing you a review for One Piece Chapter 664 and man, okay, so I did know that there was something, you know, extra with Law, but I didn't think it was this, man, so apparently Law, you know, got a little bit of a good heart, man, like, you, you knew there was more to him just based off the fact that he saved Luffy and you could argue there was a little bit of bravado there where he's just like, hey, straw hat i just saved you on a whim yo don't even be taking this for granted like next time you see me you didn't like that and all of a sudden you find out this dude comes to an island looks and says ha, these guys can't use their legs okay well those scimitars okay snip snip cut cut here devil fruit yeah you guys got legs now and this is what got me when i'm reading what happened with law right and how law came here and how caesar used this gas gas fruit and everything one of the things that got me was i'm looking at it and i'm like if chopper because in a way they're similar so if chopper was to actually be a real pirate like i know it's like what do you mean a real pirate it's like i consider chopper a pirate you know like, don't me wrong i consider him a pirate the guy threw down against cp9 like chopper chopper holds his weight Chopper holds his weight, but at the same time, it's like, because he, of his design, and because he's an idiot, and he looks so cute and cuddly, and all this other stuff, it's so hard to look at him and say, oh, that's a real badass, and so, if Chopper was a hardened pirate, I could see him kind of being like Law a little bit, because, you know, from what we've seen from Law so far, it's almost like this, man, it's almost like this, like, if Law sees someone who needs medical attention, he's gonna do what he needs to do it's that doctor in him and so that's interesting that's interesting i don't know if that's something oda's kind of you know showing like hey you know chopper and law they're two sides of the same coin i don't know if that's what that is but what i did find interesting is how when all the backstory and everything's being you know given to us about law and caesar and all this stuff you know, Straw Hats are just, you know, making like the crying face and everything. The idiot members of Straw Hats, like Luffy and Frankie and Sanji, they're making the crying faces. But what I thought was interesting is as all that is happening, right? As that's happening, you got people like Nami saying, I didn't know Vega Punk was that bad. And we're getting all of the backstory. And at some point I'm going, has it clicked in Frankie's head? That, oh shit, I was in one of Dr. Vega Punk's labs. You know, because I don't talk about the, the uh, chapter covers very often, but I do know that the chapter covers, you know, kind of explain the different things that are going on in the One Piece world all at the same time. And so I know that Frankie, you know, went to lab and everything. I think I even talked about this in one of the videos, man. But I know Frankie went into one of the labs and everything blew up. And so I'm wondering if it's crossed his head. And what I think could be interesting, and this might be me reading too far into the series, but what could be interesting is, you know, Frankie did get some upgrades from Dr. Vega Punk's, Punk's lab. I'm wondering if at some point, you know, Frankie gets acknowledged for turning someone like Vega Punk's inventions and everything into something to help humanity. Again, I might be reading too much into that, but it's just something to throw out there. And I like how we get the explanation from one of the people that was helped by Caesar and helped by law, but then you also get the other side of it, where Tashigi is just sitting there, and I'm gonna get to Tashigi in a second, because god damn, yo, but I like how Tashigi kind of breaks it down, she's just like, well, you know, Vegapunk was the head scientist for the world government, but Caesar was the number two, and we have all these abductions, and we were saying that the abductions were, uh, happening because of this and by the time we got to papers this is what got reported and when it's in and out the communications department that's kind of what i've been getting but now i'm starting to wonder were they just being taken from their homes and we know that from the sob stories that the kids were given to nami and the others and so it's just like you're seeing different things and when we find out that with caesar he's taking different people inmates experimenting on them another cliche that's been done a lot but you know this is pretty interesting because we've already seen prison in the one piece world and now it makes you wonder what's worse being on like level six of impel down or just being an impel down or being experimented on by caesar like 
holy shit, like, if you do bad in the One Piece world, you're going, like, it, holy fuck, that's not a good place to be in. But, and, you know, hey, fuck YouTube, I understand, you know, I can't say fuck too much in the videos, but fuck, 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 But what I thought was interesting on that is after that happens, right, Oda, and I, I talk about this a lot, Oda gives you the heavy hand and the soft hand, right? If you've been here for a while, as most of you are, you can get the heavy hand, the soft hand, older before he gives you some really serious information. He gives you some comedy to kind of uh, soften the blow a little bit to keep things from getting too out of hand. Holy shit. One second. But in order to keep things from getting too out of hand, and what I thought was really, really cool about that is because of that reality, because... That's what's going on. You have to look at it from this perspective. Oda is about to take things even darker than we've actually seen it so far in this arc. And what I'm talking about is the fact that, you know, like you got like the people in Tashigi's crew like, oh, I really like the captain being this open right now. And it's because Smoker's just like, I think the captain should be open to everybody. I'm not buttoning up your shirt. And I'm looking, I'm like, holy fuck. Fuck, she is, like, she is thick, man. Like, holy fuck. Like, whoo. That's it, man. Tashigi looking good enough to cream pot. Like, shh. No pull out. Just, ah, ah. Ah. Oh. You be big old fat nuts just busting in that bitch, man. But this is what's interesting, right? Like, after all of that, after all that, right? When we get these details and you look at Smoker's reactions change and you pay attention to how his face is drawn, even though he's in Tashigi's body, when you look at how his face is drawn, that's when this dude's like, okay, I've heard enough. One third of you take the ship, go report this back to the Navy. The rest of us, you're going to do this. You're going to do this. We're not leaving this island to find out who the fuck is behind this. We're getting to the bottom of this. And that's where I said, okay, I'm tipping my hat to Smoker, man. Because that's some, that's some G shit right there. That's some G shit. I love that. I love that. Because that says a lot about him. Like, it, it, for us, we have to view him like an antagonist. We have to view him like an antagonist simply because for Luffy and the rest of Straw Hats, they're the heroes of the story. But morally, you should be looking at, you know, Smoker and them and saying, yeah, they're actually the good guys. Because... You know, the Navy. The Navy's done some fucked up stuff. But, you know, for the most part, they're the good guys. So, I thought that that was pretty interesting that that's the way that everything was going. That that's how this was rolling. I thought that was really interesting. Really, really interesting that Oda decided to paint Smoker in that light yet again. And this harkens back to what we saw in Alabas. So, we got hints of this there. So, once again, Oda is just pulling in the smaller things. Because when I was listening to... Excuse me, when I was watching, uh, fuck me, this, okay, when I was reading, holy fuck, I'm like literally watching this, I had to step away for a second, I'm literally watching the videos uploading, like, uh, for those of you who don't know, I pre-record, and then I upload the videos or whatnot, and I had a video that was uploading, so anyway, so, as I was reading this, as I was reading this, I started thinking back to... Alabasta when Smoker and Luffy and all of them are in the cage and just the interactions with Smoker and Luffy and how when Smoker realized that Crocodile was behind all of this shit, how Crocodile had that moment of clarity and he was like, hey, it don't change shit with Straw Hat. It don't change nothing. Your ass is going down. So I like how Oda is staying consistent with that. So my chapter question to you guys is, just as readers, right? And I know Oh, everybody's my <laughs> of course like the straw hats dumbass but as readers okay how do you feel that Oda is handling the whole thing with morality okay like so pirates are supposed to be back like when we find out that the generation Luffy's from with the 11 supernovas are the worst generation ever and they're pirates and they're living up to the name of pirates and yet, you got someone like Luffy and the Straw Hats who, morally, they're not what you would think pirates would be. And then you have Smoker who is being portrayed to the audience as, oh, he's supposed to be the bad guy. And yet, 
he's actually a good guy. Where do you fall on that spectrum, and how do you think Oda's been balancing that? I think it's pretty interesting. I think it's pretty interesting. In a way, One Piece is like a series that is written from the perspective of the villain, but because the villain doesn't realize that he's doing bad, you don't see him as a villain. Or society sees him as a villain, and he doesn't see himself as a villain. And it's almost like the villain goes on the call to action. And I mean, this is interesting. This is really interesting. That's one of the things that really intrigued me to even think about reading One Piece once it got kind of bugged down in my ear a little bit. You should really check this out. And as you guys know, Naruto ended, Bleach was in the process of ending, and I was like, okay, fuck it. I'm just going to start reviewing One Piece and document this shit because, I mean, I've been thinking about doing this shit for a while. It's been hyped up. It's part of the big three. Let's see what the big fuss is about. The other two dealt with main characters who were trying to change the society and all this other shit. But Luffy's a fucking pirate and he's a bad guy. Oh, there's a government. That sounds fucking interesting. So, I mean, this is interesting, man. This is really, really interesting. You know, but as always, guys, if you like anything I had to say, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, share. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Have an awesome day.